Hot property on the big show. Tuesday, 12 30. It's time for us to get into our hot property. Last week we had Fadzi coming through on that architect tip. And today we're back with our trustee Kura, who's on his way to Mutare, keeping himself safe. Kura, how are you doing? Hey, hey, Ahmad. Uh, me, I'm wonderful. I'm enjoying uh, the partly jewelized road heading out uh, uh, Kumakomo Yo, Kwamutare. But I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The way I'm so jealous of you and Mutare is so beautiful, so enjoy that. But bringing things back closer to home because we are at home right now. We're talking about homeowners association as well as tenants association. What's the difference? The difference between the two is who they represent and what powers that they have. So from a representation point of view, a homeowners association is typically a cluster development where people have got land or it's a body corporate or... um, That's regarding flats where everybody has, yes, a title deed, but there are interests in the broader piece of land. So in a block of flats, uh, you don't just pitch up and arrive in your flat. You've got to go to parking. Uh, There's a gate that needs a motor that needs to be maintained. You need to walk up the stairwell that gets to your flats. Those stairwells are lit, so there's electricity that everybody is sharing in those expenses. A tenant association, on the other hand, is when people are grouped together. Um, Tenants may want to take on their landlords in one single voice, and they form an association amongst themselves. So a tenant is somebody who's renting property from somebody else. A homeowner or a body corporate represents the owners. Most of us in Zim are tenants, renting out either in a complex, flats, or just, you know, a house as well. What is the importance of having a tenants association? Because homeowners association, it's yours. You're taking care of it. But my tenants, are, I feel like that's important. Well, the reason for forming an association is so that you can speak with one voice and get multiple brains around an issue. Now, a tenants association is useful in engaging landlords to create some sort of uh, standard operation so if you're in a block of flats um, some people might be paying uh, the levies and contributing to the maintenance and upkeep of the property other people might not but as a tenants association you might even be a useful conduit that you can say look as tenants um, we are the ones who would be having our cars broken into if the gate motor is not working or if the electric fence is not fixed. So in then we can talk on a Gunganita to Mari and then say to the owners, it's why some tenants those are true quita out about and raise an, an equal and matching contribution. So the associations uh, from the landlord side, they similarly one guy can't fix the gate by himself. It's not his responsibility. It is the, the landlord's uh, responsibility. But again, there's benefit in pooling those resources and that action together and maintaining some sort of a standard. Kuda's on his way to Mutare, but we are at home and talking about the importance of having either a homeowners association or a tenants association. Do you have one at your where you stay? And if not, why not? 0731-168045. A hot property on the big show. We're back with Hot Property and you are tuned into the hottest station in the nation. It is ZFM Stereo. My name is Ahmad and we have Kura and we're talking about a tenants association. Kura. Can I put in my association, Anditi? Obviously, there has to be uh, accountability for a lot of things. So, should there be positions like under chairman, secretary, treasurer, or no? Okay, if we're just taking it from a tenant's perspective, um, a problem a lot of people face is water. So, we could all be buying our little 1,000 liters at a time and storing it in a container in our house. Or we could get together as tenants and say, look, um, we let's get water delivered at 10,000 liters in one go. So that makes it more cost efficient. But somebody is going to have to hold that money and play the supplier. So if it's a formal association, sure, you're going to need the usual. Somebody who's going to run it. So that's a, a chairperson. Uh, let's not get dictator tendencies. Or tendencies. Any chairperson tendency not to work needs to be a democracy where people are sharing ideas you will need a secretary who looks after the administration sends out notice of the meeting keeps minutes of the meetings and a treasurer who is looking after the pennies and cents 
if you get if it's quite a large uh, number of people involved or in a in a complex that's got a number of tenants you might want to open up a bank account and if you do that you'll need some sort of uh, registration for you to be able to do that but it's not compulsory but it's a good idea Kanamakawanda and Mari Zikumbo Nuku Parana Mari Zakati one day you want to maintain some sort of accountability so Apana Chagaipa Nyorana Pasi so it is like running a business now we know with running a business there are rules and regulations and laws that have to be adhered to what legal considerations should be taken into account with having a tenants association so you're right to ask what goes into a constitution and where can you get one look um, you can jump on the internet um, South Africa will have pretty pretty easy, readily available templates, but you'll customize it to what you want. What you want to be clear of is who is a member of the association, uh, what contributions are there, you want an accountability of where that money is going to be applied. So we can't just wake up willy-nilly and say we want uh, to raise $100,000, it doesn't work that way. You've got to put a budget together and say, look, we are clubbing together to get a communal DSTV satellite connection and this is what we're putting in so that everybody is clear what their contribution is and what their benefit is. Once you've got that you've got the rules of engagement and you've got quite a a powerful uh, incentive. Tenants associations can be fantastic when they get together and they talk to service providers like internet service providers uh, you can get group discounts and infrastructure put into the building where they know that instead of waiting for one 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 by one by one customers to come they can get 10 or 15 or 20 of them and it makes things quite interesting so be proactive in the space that you've got it's always good for you to get together Muchunga needs a marit so that the year end you can give the caretaker a Christmas hamper but uh, you are doing it voluntarily and the best way to be clear with one another is to put it in writing and put it up front. That's like the first rule of everything. Always put everything in writing. Do you have a tenants association where you stay? Or, you know, if you don't, why not? And is it something that you would consider? I'm hooked on the idea because you can always get like, can you imagine a situation where you don't have water in your, in your complex and you get like a group discount for getting tanks in there? Hmm, something to think about. A hot property on the big show. A tenants association, the importance of one, how you can actually form one in your community. Do you have one? Do you not have one? We're having the conversation on our social media platforms. That's at ZFM Stereo on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as at Kura Chihota on Facebook and Twitter. Now, Kura, eh, we know that we're coming up with this association. At what point do you tell your landlord that you have a tenants association? Or do you even need to tell them that? Our constitution guarantees a free right of association. So if you've decided to form a tenants association, all good and all good for you. Um, There's no legal requirement for notice or consent to come out of the landlords. It's always going to uh, matter how you approach the landlords. Um, When you've organized yourselves, you've organized yourselves for bargaining power. And it depends on how people receive that, but that's not your issue. And did they mean me money chinangwa? Mungunda zodakui tuwa pa pa property. So uh, it shouldn't become acrimonious. It should become difficult. But you are free to form your association and place your demands, and it'll be a negotiation from there. Very, very important. Okay, so we're, we're always running out of time when we're having these conversations. But like I said, everything is also happening on our social media platforms. What are we saying about tenants associations in conclusion? And I'm safely in the kingdom of the mountains. Thank you very much for keeping me company. Just to wrap up, tenant associations are good ideas where people come together to solve problems. Now, those problems can be the provision of water. It can be collecting capital contributions to perhaps put in solar. It can be anything that goes towards the collective interest, paying a security guard, an extra security guard, uh, making sure the gate works. But what we must always be mindful of 
is that landlords have a duty and a responsibility to provide the property in a lettable state. So tenants associations shouldn't run ahead of themselves and uh, expend money and expect that the landlord is just going to reimburse them. It is good to organize yourselves and put together reasonable proposals. Always written down is better than just Kungo Taura. And you put it down in writing and you'll find a landlord, particularly in these times, who wants to look after a tenant because if you've got somebody who's in a property and they're paying, those tenants are worth gold uh, versus changing to other new people who may or may not pay you. So it's a, co it's a cooperative, it's a collaborative effort where minds are coming together around a particular focus and presenting a credible case to your landlords. Landlords who are out there, a tenants association um, shouldn't be seen as a threat. It should be easier to deal with one association with one viewpoint rather than dealing with 10 or 12 individual tenants. Have a fantastically profitable property week ahead. Take care. Guys, so I really hope that you'll be able to come together as tenants to be able to put forward your your views and your issues to all your landlords and not an, in an antagonistic way, of course. We will be back again with the hot property. And remember, you can also catch hot property online in case you missed the whole episode. That's at AmadZW on YouTube. But you can also follow Kura. That's at PropEye on Instagram, as well as at Kura Chuot on Facebook and Twitter. Meet again next week. Hot property on the big show.